Many people might say that's the sound that signals the official start of the Christmas season. Families gather around their soon-to-be Christmas tree, yelling timber, as it comes crashing to the ground. But for Greg Smith at the 7G's tree farm, that's the sound of giving back. The farm donates trees to our men in the military. I'm not a veteran, per se. My dad was a veteran of World War II, and I do this in his honor. Uh, it's my way of uh, serving my tour. It's called the Trees for Troops program. It was started by the National Christmas Spirit Foundation in 2005. Each year, 29 states and around 700 farms donate Christmas trees to military families across the nation. Hundreds are also sent overseas where they will be placed in common areas, like mess halls, for the men to enjoy. The typical tree the troops will receive ranges from about six to seven feet tall, just like this tree right here. This season, the 7G's family farm plans to cut around 1,100 trees. In just a couple weeks, 250 of those trees will be cut, baled, and loaded onto FedEx trailers. Those trees will then be distributed to Georgia military bases like Fort Benning, Stewart, Gordon, and other National Guard units across the state. It's our little way of uh, saying thank you to the troops. They've done a great job. Any military family knows that job is not fully done until mom or dad is safely home. Families can pick up a free tree even after the holidays. There, there's nothing more touching than, a, than a, uh, a, a child and his mom saying, well, my dad ain't gonna be home until January or February. So we'll say, well, you come back and get that tree then. You can have Christmas anytime you want it. So with each cut of the saw, Smith knows he's donating the chance for families to spend time under the soft glow of their Christmas tree lights, even if those lights aren't put up until after the new year. In Nicholson, I'm Kayla Buck for UGA News Source.